From the last century to the present, the allure of the Middle East has always attracted tourists. From the pyramids of Egypt and the Karnak Temple, built around 2000 BC, to the red city of Petra, carved in the dramatic desert rock of southern Jordan, architecture here has always amazed the world. But today, this region has gained the attention of everyone due to its modern and surprising constructions. Of course, the name of the United Arab Emirates must be echoing in your mind. But today, we will not talk about Dubai's Palm Jumeirah or Abu Dhabi's Emirates Palace. But this is a mention of a mega project in Saudi Arabia that is being called the next level. Today, this land of deserts has progressed towards becoming a luxurious and technologically advanced country. Construction work has already begun in the kingdom on many projects that have been considered incredible. And one of these groundbreaking projects is the world's longest linear park sports boulevard. As a key component of the Saudi Vision 2030, this project under construction in the capital Riyadh was launched on March 19th, 2019, the total cost of which is estimated at $23 billion. This 123 kilometers long state-of-the-art park stretches from Hanifa Valley in the west to Salai Valley in the east, with 135 kilometers of green and safe pathways for pedestrians and 220 kilometer of special routes for professional and amateur cyclists. Apart from this, the sports boulevard is also being constructed with horse riding tracks and designated sites for more than 50 types of sports activities. Until the middle of the last century, most of Saudi Arabia consisted of deserts, and its economy depended on limited agriculture and revenue from the pilgrimage. In 1938, after the discovery of vast oil reserves in the region of al assa near the Persian Gulf, the star of this kingdom's fortunes began to shine. In 2005, Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz initiated various reforms that encouraged foreign investment and privatization, in February 2011, the Saudi government started a series of benefits for citizens with an amount of $36 billion. Apart from this, $67 billion were also allocated for the construction of 500,000 houses, in addition to creating 60,000 new security jobs. This was the starting point of Saudi Arabia's modernization that has made the kingdom one of the richest and most extraordinary places in the world. Today, Saudi Arabia has surpassed even the developed countries of the Western world, in terms of infrastructure, engineering, and economic growth with several state-of-the-art projects, including the Line Smart City of Neom, Amala Island, Oxagon Industrial City, and Sindala. The primary objective of Saudi Vision 2030 is to introduce the nation to a diversified and sustainable economy in order to reduce the kingdom's reliance on oil and raise the quality of living of its citizens. While the Saudi government is taking the lead in providing unparalleled facilities for its citizens, it is also taking various measures for their health and well-being. The Sports Boulevard project is one such unique and innovative project, which can undoubtedly be called an engineering marvel. Due to the non-availability of suitable places for public entertainment and healthy activities in the country, Saudi Arabia has come to the 17th place among the nations suffering from obesity, which has been called alarming by the World Obesity Federation. According to the report, 32% of the country's population is obese, as Saudis lack any healthy activities other than routine activities. This is certainly a major issue, which not only creates problems at the individual level, but also puts a strain on the health system and the economy in the country. To overcome this problem, Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz launched the sports boulevard in the capital Riyadh on March 19, 2019, which inspires the city's residents to adopt a healthy lifestyle. The project aims to add Riyadh to the list of top 10 livable cities in the world. Sports Boulevard also offers a combination of sports with cultural, artistic, and environmental activities. The project will improve the quality of life in Riyadh, as well as enhance the city's landscape, adding 4.4 million square meters of green and open space, covering 3.5 square kilometers with 17,000 trees. Taking advantage of the length of the Sports Boulevard, Riyadh citizens will be able to reach this health-enhancing location in a 15-minute cycling or 30-minute walking distance. A 20-square-kilometer desert park is also being built in this boulevard with unique engineering, which will have outdoor museums, event venues, and movie theaters. Apart from this, the investment zone for private sector covering 2.3 million square meters will also be part of the Sports Boulevard. 
where opportunities for commercial and recreational activities will be provided. Construction activities on this project to transform the desert into a beautiful and lush oasis began in October 2021. The long list of facilities in Saudi Arabia includes more than 50 types of sports, 220 kilometers of cycling routes, 135 kilometers of walking and running trails, and almost 100 kilometers of equestrian trails. The project development is divided into eight districts, each of which has unique characteristics. The first Wadi Hanifa district will consist of 29.5 kilometers, connecting Al Madina Al Munawra Road to Al Olab Dam via the historic Al Daria Gate. Apart from cycling and horse riding facilities and green pathways for pedestrians, service stations, coffee shops, and retail outlets will also be built in this area. The second section has been named the Art District, which will cover 5.5 kilometers. It forged a strategic partnership with Ajdan Real Estate Developments and Albalad Capital. This collaboration is aimed to introduce theaters for cultural and exhibition spaces for artistic activities, along with residential, commercial, and dining facilities. The Art District will also house museums, libraries, and conference halls. In the third district, called the Urban Wadi Zone, a water canal will be constructed. The 3.5 km zone will also provide pedestrian, cycling and horse riding facilities. The remaining districts, named Entertainment, Athletics, Environmental, Al Sulay Valley Zone and Red Sand Park, have unique facilities and identities, providing diverse cultural, recreational and environmental experiences. This mega construction project, built with a budget of $23 billion, is on the fast track to completion, as the relevant authorities are determined to complete it by 2027. The Sports Boulevard, which will transform the dry desert of the past into an eco-friendly area in the near future, will also significantly reduce 100 tons of carbon dioxide emissions, as thousands of trees will be planted, while the travel time from one side of the city to the other side will also decrease by 64.8%. This revolutionary project will provide treated water for irrigation, while solar panels will also be installed on the roofs of 70% of the buildings. For a densely populated city like Riyadh on the one hand, the Sports Boulevard project will be helpful in preventing unnecessary health issues, while on the other hand, it will be necessary to demolish or alter the existing structures for the construction of this project, which is definitely a challenge for the concerned authorities. The Sports Boulevard will not only be dedicated to sports, but will be a fusion of sports, culture and environment, which will be a modern yet traditional wellness destination. It is true that modern technology has become a necessity for all of us, but after considering the health issues around the world today, there is an urgent need that the combination of modernity and nature can make our lifestyle healthier. Better than diet plans and supplements for good health are habits that are organic and keep us close to nature. If you also agree with us, then drop a few lines in the comment section below. If there is scope for even a small project like Sports Boulevard in your city, you can be the first ray of hope to turn this dream into a reality by conveying the proposal to the relevant authorities. If you like the video, please like it and share it with your friends and loved ones.